Hi, I'm Mrs. Rivette, and this is my student today, Jason. I'm going to first be teaching him the sevens game. So this is a game that teaches focus and concentration while keeping a steady beat. If you wanted to teach this to your students, you could use a metronome, but I'm just going to keep it simple today and count out the beat so that he can follow. So this game consists of four different sections, and in the sections we do four different movements. So the movements are tap, clap, snap, and cross. So it's like a cross tap. So we'll just learn the first section first. It's the easiest section. And we count it in sevens. So you're going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we repeat each, each section. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's a good idea to do this almost too slow the first few times because it does get more complicated. So in the second section, we're doing tap, clap. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and repeat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's the second section. In the third section, the sections get harder. In the third section, we're doing a tap, clap, snap. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, this is a really hard, this is the hardest section, section four. So section four is complicated, just do it with me slowly first. We're gonna tap, cross, tap, clap, snap, clap, tap. So if we count it out, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we repeat it. One, two, <laughs> it's okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good? Got it? I think so. <laughs> so, we'll run it through one time fairly slowly as a practice. So if you get mixed up, just try to like re-catch up with where I am. So you can watch me here or you can watch me in the camera, whatever's easier. I'm watching myself in the camera. That's easier for I'm me. I'm not watching you in the camera because it will mess me right up. Okay. <laughs> so watch me here then. Okay. We'll go really slowly for practice. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 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 One, two, <laughs> it's okay, starting, start that round. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Last round. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so we ran through it once as a practice. And my student did not mess up, but I did, and that's okay. You can show your students that you're not perfect either. So we'll, st we'll do it one more time as a full run through, and then we'll try to do it a little bit faster and see who wins. There can be a winner in this game because inevitably, if you keep going faster and faster, someone will screw up, and then, you know, the other person is the winner because they beat it. Um, so let's try it basically the same pace that we did for our practice, and then we'll try it once faster than that, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 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 <laughs> we'll start that round over. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Do you want to try it faster? 
Yeah. We'll try it. We'll try it faster one time. It's the rhythm that's messing me up because the one is up, snap, or up, clap, snap, down. And the last round, you go is back, up, snap, clap. Yeah. So <laughs> this one is shaped like, I don't know, it goes like straight down. And you're right, in the last round, you go back in like an X shape. So it does mess you up a bit. Yes. It does. Um, but let's try it anyways, okay. just for the purposes. We'll see how we can do. So we'll go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 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 One, two, three, four. I did it wrong. <laughs> So it's definitely a game that can teach students as well that the more you practice something, the better you get at it. So it shows um, the growth mindset. And of course that starting out really, really slowly, which we actually didn't do, I'm sorry, is more helpful sometimes. It can feel kind of excruciatingly slow, but it's definitely helpful to start that way. And that's the sevens game.